Well, following DePap's arrest, he sat down with San Francisco police for an interview. After police gave DePap his Miranda rights, he did proceed to tell police what he did and why he did it. And that full interview has now been released. Tonight, Crown Press Dan Kerman has excerpts of the interview and analysis of its impact from a Bay Area attorney. Following his arrest for striking former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, with a hammer, David DePap told San Francisco police in an interview he went to Pelosi's San Francisco home to stop her and Democrats from lying to Americans. Lies coming out of just insane. First, specifically, like, of all the people in Washington, who lying on a consistent basis, she has to be like the leader of the pack. DePap echoed the false assertion that Democrats stole the election and then told police his plans for Speaker Pelosi had she been there. Well, I was going to basically hold her hostage and I was going to talk to her and basically tell her what I do. And, and hold her hostage and do what? And talk to her. And she told the truth. During the almost 18-minute interview just released, DePap tells police Paul Pelosi's call to 911 pushed him into a corner. He says he had other targets and was not going to let Pelosi stop him. He then admits hitting Pelosi with the hammer. I think he grabs it. He, he thinks that I'll just surrender. And it's like, I didn't come to surrender. And I told him that I will go through him. Yeah. And so I basically yanked it away from him and hit him. Why did you hit him? And did you feel like... Oh, I told him that, that I'm not going to surrender. I'm here for the fight. Okay. And it's like, if you stop me, it's like, if you stop me from going after evil, you will take the punishment instead. The statements he made to the police are so incriminating. It's hard to imagine how to unring this bell. Legal analyst Stephen Clark says the release of this interview, coupled with you know, the video of the attack, will make it difficult for DePap to get a fair so trial, especially in San Francisco. He not only set out, he says, to injure Mr. Pelosi, but he also wanted to go after the speaker and other high profile people, which this potential jury is going to think makes him a very dangerous person. And while Clark says prosecutors will benefit from DePap's admission he was there to do harm, he says defense attorneys may also benefit from the police interview. For the defense, they're going to point to the delusional nature of this and his vitriolic statements against people in the Democratic Party like Hillary, Nancy Pelosi, and that he had other targets, that this is a man that's unhinged, that he is suffering from some mental defect, and they're going to say the interrogation plays right into that. Clark says ultimately, if a jury can be convinced oh, the man. attack on Paul Pelosi was not attempted murder, but just an assault, that hammer. would be a win oh, for the defense. Hey, 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 hey. Dan Kerman, Tron right 4 News. Meantime, DePap's defense attorney is calling the release of that evidence, quote, a terrible mistake. Deputy Public Defender Adam Lipson said in a statement, quote, releasing this footage is disrespectful to Mr. Pelosi and serves no purpose except to feed the public desire for spectacle and violence. The footage is inflammatory and could feed unfounded theories about this case, and we are extremely concerned about Mr. DePap's ability to get a fair trial.